that this is going to be the survival kit that I was telling you, you know, that we're going to make it where you can have a nail polish, um, exfoliant, body butter, and nail tile, and it's going to be sandal survival kit. That's that cool marketing. <laughs> So they say, can you come and help us make candles and figure out what we can do about marketing more in that region in Africa? There's tons of tourists and tons of things to see. You know, there's a Shamar plane, the global crater in Tanzania right there, Kilimanjaro. All of that is right there. And there's no reason that they can't figure out how to get into that whole part of the market. I would love to come. I'd love to come to Kenya. I'd love to be a part of it. So I'm um, getting ready to go. And as soon as you say, And the woman who starts to do the travel arrangement from Nairobi, Kenya, emails me, and her name is Magdalene. <laughs> and then a woman who is in Uganda, who has a very small group of women um, working there, emails me and said, a friend of hers, a friend of hers, a friend of hers, you know, you can trace it, it goes to England, to New York, to Nashville, heard that I was going to go to Kenya, and they have a small group of women in Uganda, Uganda is so close to Kenya. Can I just hop over? <laughs> and we can spend a week doing that work. And then, I mean, and it, so then a woman I married in Nashville, Tennessee, a year and a half ago, her godmother, the woman I married's godmother, has a niece who's a Peace Corps worker in Rwanda. The Peace Corps worker in Rwanda who has no idea about anything that we do, I mean, no connection ends up going to this Ishirizi community in Rwanda, and the head of it says, you know who you need to talk to is a woman in Nashville, Tennessee, that we're about selling our stuff to to the United States, saying back to Stephen. And so she goes, oh, I know somebody in Nashville, Tennessee. My aunt lives there. And she called her and goes, do you know back to Stephen? She goes, yes, yeah, she just married my goddaughter. <laughs> so there's no reason you can't just hop over to Rwanda and help this one poor young woman in the Peace Corps. But I'm just saying, all you have to do at any point in your life on all this stuff is when you say yes, all the doors and all the things start opening up to you. The whole point of that. In the end, the Beatitudes and the Sermon on the Mount cost the disciples their life. Not only did they get to walk to the cross with their Lord, they got to walk to their own. And I know that. And I know that's true for you, and it's true for me, that really our path is to learn what it is that we want to die for. We really do want to learn what it is we want to die for. And what a great thing to know that about in your life. I will die for you. I will lay down my life for you. I never, never in my understanding of what it meant to be a priest or to serve the church thought this is what it was going to look like. And I really thought that I was doing an outreach program that was going to be a part of the ministry of And I'm so glad that I keep saying yes and figuring out what the very next step is going to be. And I hope that I get to share that with you in new ways that we haven't thought about all the way through yet. And that we get to continue this relationship. Please know that the way that we um, stay open and the way that we keep growing and giving everything that we can to anybody that wants to be a, you know, have sister programs. We have people visiting this week from Columbus, uh, Austin, Austin, Texas, uh, somewhere in North Carolina, I forget. And when next week we have um, a group coming from the that are interested in starting. One of the things that people are really interested in is we have a tool from them to get people arrested for forcing prostitutes. And so even though we take no federal or state funding, every man that gets arrested in Nashville, Tennessee, Davidson County for prostitution, it's an eight-hour school to learn the difference between safe and legal sex and unsafe and legal sex, and how the um, humanizing the prostitute for people, and it's $300 a person that we receive on that. So that's about a sixty dollars to seventy thousand dollars a year gig for us. I'm telling you a lot about music city in the USA, right? <coughs> anyway, um, we would do anything to help y'all if you wanted to do anything here and whatever that meant, and you're welcome to come up. Like I said, there's nothing that we have about our program that's a secret. There's nothing about Bickle Farms that's a secret. 
Uh, we don't have a secret recipe. We don't have a secret formula. It's about community. It's about sharing and proclaiming love as a healing. And yeah. Really, the only sacrament in the church is one. Is one. And we all just be part of it. And it's all kinds of ways that it's manifested. But if we keep doing it together, we are much better off. I will answer any questions you have. Thank you very much.